Leadership is such a big topic today. I've personally watched Simon Sinek rise to popularity over the last year or two with his golden circle and how you can be a better leader, how you can empower others, lead with empathy. And in this video, we're gonna hear from three CEOs that I was lucky enough to interview earlier this month. So since they're CEOs, let's see what they have to say about being a great leader, all of that coming up. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about how you can be the best engineer you can be with job tips and networking advice and all types of things so that you can crush it in your career. If you don't have the 1% Engineer Kit and are not in the Facebook group yet, follow the links below. The face of leadership has changed so much over the last generation, really the rise to millennial supremacy because what we want in the world, what we believe in, how we want to be led is dramatically different than ever before. We care about the impact that we have in the world. We care about having a voice at the table. We care about the work that we do and we care about our bosses actually listening to us because we know that we have grown up with the internet and regardless of age, regardless of our position, regardless of anything else in the work environment, we know that even the youngest person at the table should have a voice regardless of gender, regardless of race, regardless of anything. The leader should listen to everyone in the room because because at the end of the day, everyone comes with a diverse perspective, a diverse background, and the best teams are forged. When you listen to everyone and you soak up ideas from all parts of the world, all parts of backgrounds and perspectives. So this is very important that a leader doesn't bias the thoughts at the table and actually be able to empathize if someone is going through something or is in a unique place or situation, which is very important, and also be able to empower their team and not control everything. So these are some topics that I think come out in these interviews. Let me know your perspective on leadership in the comments below. Let's hear from these three CEOs that I was able to interview after this TEDx leadership event that happened earlier this month. So without further ado, let's jump right into those. Enjoy. But if you could really consolidate your leadership message to all the leaders out there and have them walk away with one core tip so that they could be better leaders, what would you want to resonate with them? Appreciate the position that they hold, the footprint, the platform, and a responsibility goes with that. So don't shy away from it. Your employees expect it, your community expect it, expects it, and your family looks up to you. And I don't want people to keep their heads down. It's, it's not, it's not helping. And when, when the younger colleague of mine said, why did you take so long? It really did yeah. stun me. And I can tell you, there was a written piece that I put out on our blog and it literally took me two days back and forth with people in the firm saying, should I say this? People would think I'm being political. So the team helped, but if I hadn't put something out there, it would have been missing. And I want CEOs and business leaders to know it would be missing if they don't step up. If you could have people walk away with one core message from your idea today, from your story, from your life story, what would you want that to be? I would want it to be that when like the worst of what you can imagine happens to you, whatever that is for you, that if instead of, you know, going inward, you went outward with that, that you would, you would see the magic of that. You know, in Kabbalah, in the Jewish faith, which I'm not Jewish, but Kabbalah has this beautiful belief that, you know, there's energy and then there's the cone. And I, and I think the cone is the receiver, and the cone is the place where I think sorrow is held. And I think the energy, you want to be the energy. You want to be, you know, use your story, tell your story, connect with other people who have had the same pain and heartache as you. That's what I would want people to walk away with. Like, you're not alone. You're not alone. Today's theme is all about leadership. Leadership. You guys know, can, can speak a lot about this topic and 
and help the leaders of the world and, and really the rising superstars that are going to be great leaders and change the world. And if you could have one core takeaway to the leaders out there from your message today, what would that be? It was just, it's to follow your dreams and just leave it all on the field and just go for it. And, and, and really just try to be the best person you can be. Um, everyone, I don't care if you're the CEO of a, a DuPont or you're the CEO of a one person company, everyone is just an ordinary person trying to give it their best. Hey, 1% Nation, I hope you enjoyed that interview footage with the three CEO leaders. If you did, consider subscribing because I release videos about how you can become the best engineer so you don't wanna miss anything. If you have any questions about anything in your engineering journey, make sure you leave a question and I'll answer that. Thanks again, 1% Nation, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers.